Well, like good uh, morning or afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video. Today is Thursday, and we're going to start our lesson for today. Today, you're gonna need again your Go Math Volume Two textbook. You're gonna need Lesson fourteen point four, which is page drum roll, please five hundred and twenty nine. I'll give you a few seconds to get that ready, please. If you're in um. If you're at home, go ahead and pull up the lesson uh, from the Google Classroom. It should be in Cami um, under the daily lesson um, tab. All right, so today we're gonna continue talking about graphing and analyzing uh, relationships between sets of data. If you remember yesterday, we kind of were talking about, we began with the problem of a student or a person playing video games, right? And every time they pass one level, they would get two lives, two level, four lives, three levels, six lives, and so on. Today, we're gonna dive a little deeper into why these uh, patterns happen. Okay, and we're gonna continue to use our um, grids, coordinate grids, our um, um, input output tables, and whatever problem story that they give us. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started with this. Now, let's go ahead and look at this problem. And I'll go ahead and read it for you. Um, sorry if you can't hear me. I'm here, I'll pull my mask down so you're able to hear me a little more clearer. A little clearer, clearer, I'm sorry. Okay, so I have a person in this, um, in this problem. This person's name is Sasha, okay? Sasha is making hot cocoa for a party. Have you ever had hot cocoa? Yeah, it's delicious. Now, for each mug of hot cocoa, okay, each mug, so I'm gonna go ahead and underline that. Please underline that for me. He uses three tablespoons of cocoa mix. All right, Jacob, listen up. One cup of hot cocoa needs three tablespoons of hot cocoa um, mix. That's a very important piece of information that they're giving me. So I'm gonna pull that out of the problem and write it here. So you do that for me too as well. Um, and I'm actually gonna draw it. Don't laugh at my drawing. This is the mug, one mug, and the hot cocoa. It needs three. Now I'm good. I'm not gonna draw a tablespoon because it's. It, I, I'm not good at that. So I will go ahead and write it here. Okay. So go ahead and make sure you do that next to the problem too. And I'm already starting to find my my pattern. Right, my the relationship from mugs to tablespoons. All right, let's begin. Now we're gonna use that rule to make an input output table. Okay, again, the input is the x-axis on a coordinate grid, which is the x value. Go ahead and write that there, and the output is my y-axis, which is my here, I'll put the X here actually and the Y here, which is a cocoa mix, okay? One mug equals three. Well, if I have two mugs, I'm gonna need not three, because it's not gonna be enough, it's not gonna be tasty. I'm gonna need six tablespoons, All right? So that's gonna be six, All right? And then, if I'm gonna make three, okay, if I'm gonna make three, you just continue the pattern, right? So I'm gonna need nine cocoa mix, and then four, it's gonna be 12. Now, I'll give you a few seconds to catch up here. Make sure you have these.
Now, if you remember from yesterday, we take my information from my input output table and we use it to write my ordered pairs. Okay, we use it to write the ordered pairs. All right, Giselle, mm, what were the ordered pairs? Okay, what's special about them? What did they help me find? All right, Giselle, come on. Or maybe Andrea in 5B. Order pairs. Right, they, it, it's like they have a parenthesis, right? And they help me find a point in my graph, in my um, coordinate grid. So, good job. Ya me dieron el primero, I already have the first one. One comma three. My next one is gonna be two comma six. The next one is gonna be three comma nine. And the last one is gonna be four comma 12, okay? Those are my order pairs. I'm gonna use those to plot them in my coordinate grid, okay? Uh, sorry, let me see if I can move this just a little bit. Ahí está. Sorry about that. And so let's go ahead and do that, yeah? Um, my x-axis is the number of mugs, so I'm gonna put here mugs. Make sure you do that too. My y-axis is what? Come on, Sonny, what's my y-axis? That's right, this is a cocoa mix. So key right here. Let's write the cocoa mix on my y-axis. All right, and let's go ahead and start plotting, right? One comma three, always start at the, oh, what is this one called? Come on, what is this one called? At zero comma zero, it has a very special name. Who remembers? A ver, let's see, who can I think of in, uh, um, I don't know, Jacob or Kayla? It's called the origin, you're right. This is the origin, okay? The origin is when you always go to, be, to start plotting, right? So let's go ahead and do it. The first number moves to the right, and the second value, the y coordinate, moves up. So the first one is one comma three. One, three. Pay close attention to your, um, to your values. It's not jumping by ones, it's jumping by threes, okay? And then two, six, two to the right, and then six, there it is. The next one, the next one is three comma nine, three comma nine. And then the next one is four comma 12. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If you were to continue making more and more and more cups of cocoa, you're gonna need more and more and more teaspoons, tablespoons of cocoa mix, right? That's your relationship. Now, my question is, if you needed 10 mugs, if you're gonna make 10 mugs for you and your friends, how many cocoa mix tablespoons would you need? We'll, we'll talk about that one on the next part of the lesson. Okay, let's see which one of you can get it. All right. Okay, now that I've finished, that we've finished it, I do where, where Mr. What is me, um, kind of guides you through the problem. Now we're gonna do, that we do, the next two problems together. So I am on the next page, so go ahead and turn the page. It's page 530. So just go ahead and turn the page and let's work on the, two problems at the top, okay? On the share and show. So let's begin with that. Now, I have a feeling that you guys are starting to get this. Um, and the more we practice, the better you're gonna get, okay? So we'll practice a little more and then I'll release you so you can continue working on your own and uh, so you can get that DOL completed. Okay, so problem number one. Uh, it says, 
multiply keyword key oh there it is keyword multiply the number of tables planned by two okay so i'm gonna multiply times two let's write go let's go ahead and write that at the top multiply by two let's get in the habit of doing that um to find the weight in ounces so now this is this is the rule okay it's telling you the weight the butters so the input right the input times two so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and right here so the output which is the bottom one go ahead and write it here where i'm writing it output equals input times two i'll give you a second to to write that output equals the input times two in other words to find this output which is the weight i need to multiply the input which is the butter times two so here watch me we're gonna be writing putting down like a little arrow and then put times two and that's how you get your output now following that same rule you cannot change the rule it's got to be the same rule um, for this one times two so two times two equals that's right four now three times two that equals six four times two that's not a one that's a two i promise it's just hard to write with this equals eight five times two equals ten okay so we just follow that rule to figure out what the um the outputs are again the rule was output equals the input times two so now we'll take these numbers and create our order pairs. Okay, Adan, what's my first order pair? That's right, that's one comma two. Um, Ashley, what's my second one? I already did this one, what's next? Say it, I can hear you. That's right, two comma four. Next one? Uh, anyone? Three comma six. Okay, someone else, the next one? You guys are getting so good at this. Four comma eight. And the next one, please. All right, five comma 10. So, again, going through our steps. Found the rule. You wrote your sentence. You filled in your input output table. You wrote your order pairs. And now, all we have left to do is to plot the order pairs on my, um, my coordinate grid. Remember, this is x, which is x is always going to be the input. So, the input let's put here is butter. So, write butter. And my y is going to be what? The weight, right? Go ahead and write that there. And excuse my, uh, my poor handwriting. Let's go ahead and click red. And let's start graphing. 1, 2. 1 to the right. And 2 up. Starting at the, the origin. Don't forget. Starting at the origin. And origin is 0, comma 0. Don't forget about that. That's very important. So let's start it. 1, comma 2. 1, 2. Okay. The next one is 2, comma 4. 2 to the right and 4 up. Okay. The next one is 3, 
comma six, three, six, and then four, eight. And lastly, five, 10. Five, 10. And this is it. That is, that's it. If you, you could continue following the same rule, for example, if, if, you, if they were asking about, um, I don't know, 15, right? Like if they, they continued and they asked you about 15, well, it would be 15 times two would equals 30. So 15 comma 30, because 15 times two, which is my rule, will equal 30. Okay, the rule helps you figure out which one it is. Okay, okay so I'm gonna give you three minutes. Go ahead and work in problem two. And then after those three minutes, I'll come back and we'll go over it and release you to continue working independently. Go ahead, you got three minutes. Okay, I just realized that I never gave you the, the answer to um, that first problem. I'll do that after um, this one, after we go over this one. All right, so if you did it correctly, this is how your graph should look like. Um, the, the multiply the number of hours by three, so make sure that you wrote times three. So if you did that, give yourself a little check. You also needed to write the rule output equals input times three so if you did that give yourself a pat on the back 
You should have completed the input output table doing the arrows. Okay, don't forget those. If you don't have them, please do. After that, you create your order pairs. And then after creating your order pairs, ah, sorry, time out. I forgot something. Make sure you're labeling your axis. Super, super important. Time and distance. Because that'll help us understand what's going on here. So here, the first one was one comma three. In one hour, this person can um, go for three miles. Okay, one comma three. Then two hours, six miles, three hours, nine miles, and four hours, 12 miles. So that, that's, that it should have looked like this, okay? Please, as you continue your independent work, continue to, um, to show all these strategies, all this work. I don't wanna see just blank um, problems without showing all the different components because these, especially the times three, the rule here, they help you understand the problem, okay? So I'm gonna uh, give you your next assignment. Um, the, this, I'm about to finish this video. So at this moment, I need all of you Oh, um, I did ask you earlier here at, at 10, it would be if the, the rule was times three, at 10, it would be 30. That's what it is. Okay. Now, the next thing you need to do, please go to page 533 and work on problems. Um, go ahead and, and work on, on this page. Okay. Page 143, you're going to do one two and then three and four notice that this information you use it to answer both three and four okay use the information here to graph sorry about that that should not have been here we don't need that to do that whenever you finish the front just turn the page and work on the problems in the back and then by the time you finish that, you're going to work on your DOL. Again, you're going to pay work on pages 533 and 534. Thank you. Okay. All right. You're, um, you're good to go. So please, if you need help, just ask someone in the classroom so they can assist you in anything that you need. And I'll be coming by to see if you also need any assistance. All right. You got this. Let's get to it.